Welcome to the Ravens Report. Thanks for watching. I'm Brian Dan Bowser. And I'm Isaac. You keep reading. Oh. It's Wednesday, November 17th. On This Week in History, in 2001, Microsoft released the Xbox. The video game market had long been held up by Sony and Nintendo and a lesser extent Sega before Bill Gates decided to dip his toe into the arena led by one of the greatest launch games of all time, Halo Combat Evolved. Although the Xbox itself was sold at a loss totaling $4 billion, game sales and systems released later have more than made it up for that, as now Microsoft is firmly integrated into the video game marketplace. Alright, let's get to today's announcements. The food giving challenge continues this week. Let's head out for a quick update. Insert food giving. <laughs> <laughs> insert food giving challenge. Oh wait. <laughs> it's just telling. <laughs> All right, staff. They got loads of stuff in here. Uh, they got the barbecue sauce for the peanut butter and barbecue sandwiches. Uh, freshman got five things. Got the top ramen. Sophomores, they got that gluten-free hexagon cereal and some cans over there. Juniors, they got a lot more stuff than last time. The bag of rice. And seniors, they got the Chef Boyardee beef ravioli. Pretty good. Okay, so we have two more days to give, and we really want to celebrate the Thanksgiving we have by donating to people in need. Bring in your cans this week. The band is doing a fundraiser where they sell McDonald's extra value meal cards. The cards are five bucks and get you any and any size meal. See a band member with any questions. Winter sports started officially on Monday. Good luck out of the gates to our boys and girls basketball team, our boys and girls wrestling team, and our swim team. Go Ravens! And now this. Welcome to Channel 8 News. I'm your anchor. Hot anchor. Tensions rise today at Ridgeview High School as many students protest the school's oppressive law of outlawing all Dutch Bros coffee products. Students are displaying their contempt for the new rule outside of the school where they protest now. Yeah, I'm just out here supporting the cause. Each morning, I must consume my sugary green cup of Dutch Bros Signature Sugar, complete with extra sugar on the side. If I don't drink my synthesized carbohydrates in the morning, I'm not myself later in the day. Todd, as you can see, the students are hyped up on supporting their favorite caffeinated beverages. The students are expressing their disdain for this new law that says they're grounded from drinking the Netherlands sibling coffee. It's safe to say tensions are stirring up here at Ridgeview. The trouble started brewing when the school placed an embargo on all Dutch Bros drinks. Get that sinister caffeinated beverage out of this room. What are you doing out here today, young man? I mean, they're really taking away our constitutional right to drink Dutch Bros in class. It's one of the few joys I receive when in school. We want Dutch Bros, don't impose. We want Dutch Bros, don't impose. We want Dutch Bros, don't impose. Even anarchy has broken out in the Ridgeview parking lot. Give it to me. I need it. Students have been boiling with anger. Faculty must be dripping with confusion and want the students to kettle down. As this debate turns strong and heated, thanks a lot, Tay, for watching, and this is Channel 8 News. That's it for today. Check out our YouTube page at youtube.com slash Ravens. I'm Brian Dan Bowser. And I'm Isaac. Have an epic day, stay safe, and stay classy.